Now let's get ready for the next bout of the evening. And this is going to be a super featherweight contest over six rounds between Isifu Yusuf Seidu and then Sule Mohammed. So this boxer should get ready. Sule Mohammed and Isifu Yusuf Sule. So let's get ready to invite the boxer, Sule Mohammed. So we are waiting for the boxes. And officials for the bout, Erasmus Owe is the referee. Clement Ashon, Confidence Yagba. And I think that we have another judge that is going to occupy that area. So let's have the judges, the boxes. We are waiting for them. Sule Mohammed. very well so we are waiting for the boxes let me acknowledge the presence of one of the finest chiefs in the zungo community pro umar abubakar tanko the greater crowd zabrama chief and president of ghana zabrama association is saying hello to all muslims across the country who celebrated Eid al Adha today is here as a chief and he thanks allah for this day we also have in our midst dr ni sidibe Noya Manche from Iowa. So where is he? Ni, thank you very much for coming. We appreciate your presence here and God bless you. So now we are waiting for the boxer who is coming for the next bout, Sule Mohammed. <laughs> gentlemen before the official introduction let me acknowledge these very very important personalities number one we've just had a call from the Ashatu region Ejaba is a gold dealer who is in Kumasi watching with the sub chiefs from the Mansha Palace in Kumasi we want to thank you very much Ejaba for watching we also have in our maze Alhaji Abdul Razak Yakubu is a political advisor to the British High Commission. Where is he? Alaji Abdul Razak, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate your presence here. And now we are getting ready for the next bout of the evening. And this is a super featherweight contest of our six rounds. Officials of the bout, Clement Ashon, Judge 1, Confidence Yagba, Judge 2, and uh, Michael Nikwe, Judge 3. Now introducing the boxer from the blue corner. And this evening spotted in the blue and red trunks with black gloves with the yellow shoe to match. And this is the man with a weight of 135 pounds. The man is making his debut 
as a professional boxer. Presenting to you the boxer, Suli Mohammed. Switching over to the red corner. And this evening is forward in the Asian black trunks, black gloves. And this is the man with the weight of 136 pounds, with the official record of seven fights, no defeat, no draw. Four of the wins came by way of knockout. Presenting to you the boxer, Isifu Yossi Saido. And the man in charge of this fight is Erasmus. Oh. Good evening, guys. I need a good clean fight. What if I say you must be in the question? Touch gloves. Good luck. So we are ready for the uh, next bout of the evening. Man in your shot a while ago was the referee Erasmus Owu. And this is between Isifu Yusuf Seydou and Sule Mohammed. Super featherweight contest is scheduled for six rounds. Round Boxers are ready, one. so let's get straight into the action in the first round of this fight. And uh, quickly the two boxers would uh, size each other up and get into action. Isifu, Yusuf Seydou and uh, Sule Mohammed. Mohammed making his debut, we've been told in the uh, red tracks. And again, most, most boxers we've seen tonight are boxers who are technically making their debut when it comes to professional boxing. And as far as uh, the Deluxe Professional Boxing League is concerned, but obviously a platform for them to show what they're made of by virtue of the fact that this league is offering them quality boxing bouts every fortnight. And there you see the exchanges of blows. Sule showing how uh, swift he would love to be. Bouncing around here and there. Gone by, we had the great Shasha, uh, Shasha Mali also performing for us here. It's good to see him in the uh, boxing ring, but also good to see him in action doing what he knows how to do best. Shasha Mali entertaining the crowd with a few of his uh, popular renditions. That's some quality punching there. I thought that was a bit a, a bit below the belt anyway. Erasmus didn't see that. So we got the action going and again these are two boxers ready to give their everything. A quick misstep and quickly works on the body. Good counter punches. Sule does well to get himself out of trouble. to the head of uh, Sule, another one again and Sule counters with uh, two more to uh, Isufu's uh, head super featherweight uh, category these two boxers find themselves in and uh, Erasmus who Standing very close and separates the two boxes. End of the first round. Good, good round from both fighters. You can see that both fighters really have good mechanics in, in terms of boxing. And you can see from Sule Mohammed is really relying on his right hand, right overhead. And that you can see on your screen, that right overhand, that two, three punches that connect. And you can see you see also retaliating on the punches that Sule gave on him and from that round and from that space you can see that Usif was just blazing, blazing his left hooks 
was doing the magic. You see the left hook, his counter game. Look at one again. The left hook again. Two, three, three, four, five combinations. London clean in Osim's corner. And you can see you see is doing really, really well in the first half. For me, I tip you see for the first round. But let's see what happens in round two. Out. Round two. Second round coming up. And this bout, which is scheduled for six rounds, super featherweight contest between Isifu Yusuf Seydou in white and Sole Mohammed in red. There's a second round. And the first round, we saw some explosive uh, fighting tactics by both boxers. And again, for Sule, there will be more of the jabbing to keep the distance and then looking for the opportunity. Steady punching there from uh, Isifu. Works on the face and now the body takes one to the head as well. Misses the upright. A few chances coming through and a few misses as well from both boxers and Isifu. He would have to be cautioned by Erasmus Oru. And Prince, in as much as uh, you see is throwing wild with his left hooks, he needs to be very careful with counter punches. You can see that Sule is timing him. Yeah. And the way he's using his left hook, if Sule disengage with his right, we're going to see you see going down because that kind of left hook is really, really tough. And if any right hand connects, you see might go down. So he should be careful. From, from both boxes, I can say that... Um is it full from the blast of the referee's whistle to call the boxers into a box? He went on the um, a little bit defensive, allowing Sule Mohammed to come into the fray with wild punches. And when he took over, we all saw the punch and then the experience at which he throws punches. He has a target and he makes sure he goes for it. After that, you could see that Sule has now been tamed, so he knows when to go in for the punch and also to counter punch whenever he's he's just going under barrage of punches coming in from Yusuf Seydou. But I think this has been a very, very good bout and we are watching excellent boxing from these two boxers, Sule Mohammed and Yusufu Seydou. Well, I've been quite impressed with the stance of uh, Sule Mohammed. I mean, for a boxer who's making his debut, he seems to be unleashing uh, quite a few punches, although I must admit that he's not landed many because the guard of uh, Isifu has been tough, but that one shook him real bad. Quick recovery, but Isifu would want to continue. And those body shots from Isifu carry a lot of weight. Again, Sule gets himself out of trouble. Pretty much easy. And again, without a doubt, he, he must have taken a lot of punches, uh, Sule. But Isifu is also not being too economical with the punches. Missing quite a lot. And it looks like the haste is making him so unsure of the punches that he's landing. Isifu is doing what we call sizing up of an opponent. Although he hits Sule Mohammed, he knows that whenever he goes into and then open, opens up, Sule can catch him on a west with any straight punch that comes through because he knows the sort of boxer Sule is made up of. Although he's throwing wild punches, counter punches coming into the body and then also to the face of Sule Mohammed, he's very, very careful because Yusuf knows that any moment he just opens up, he will be caught by such a punch that came in from Sule Mohammed. I believe round three we will be witnessing something Second that we out. can actually see. But this three. has been very, very wonderful since the, the referee's bell for round one. It's been explosive right from the start. And the explosion continues. We're just setting round three. Issue for Yusuf Seydou and uh, his opponent, Sule Mohammed. Steady punch there now. Really shook Sule. Still stands on his feet though.
And again, that's another wild miss by Sule. And I think that's where one of the observations uh, NY spoke about earlier on. Once the timing is gone, it opens you up and it leaves you susceptible to receiving quite a couple of uh, heavy punches. Now, clearly, Isufu has shown us that he's the heavier puncher or he's the uh, boxer with the heavy punches. Few jabs to the body of Sule. Sule misses with that wild right. So Prince, as you can see now, it's all about a timing game by both fighters. You can see that they're not going in that explosive style as we saw earlier on. Now it's about timing. And I'm sure their corner have told them that, you know what, you are being explosive too much. We have a couple yeah. of rounds to fight on. So reserve your energy and try to time your punches. And I'm sure that's what both fighters are doing in this round. And I won't be too surprised if uh, one of them, especially Sule, runs out of uh, gas in in some good time because he looks to be the one who's doing a lot of the bubbling around his movement there trying to cut the ring to size as his opposite uh, uh, opponent that's uh, isifu but it looks like sule is seeing a lot of the movement and now he's under a flurry of punches a shot did not land is a big one tries to open up on isifu and gets one to the head of isifu And again, clearly, without a doubt, the ring craft is not there yet. I mean, um, with both Bosex, it's not there yet. Yeah. But um, for them to have a couple of, I mean, bouts, or maybe furthermore, moving on, with a couple of bouts up and coming every two weeks, they are actually in. It will bring their momentum and it will bring their I mean, they're giving us something to cheer about, irrespective of whatever we witness. This has been um, excellent boxing. The round number three, I've been actually very, very happy with what I've witnessed from these two pugilists because although they are making their maiden appearance, it seems as if they are very, very careful with the way they punch. One is a powerful puncher, the other comes in with a counter punching. Sule Mohammed comes in with counter punching, but a heavy puncher is Yusuf Seydou. Who knows when to go in for the punching? And then he does it so, so exquisitely because he knows that when he goes in, he knows what he wants and at a particular time that he needs it. It's all about sizing your opponent and then taking your opponent out when you have the opportunity. But Sule Mohammed is no pushover of a boxer. He's actually in there and battling for his life because he's giving Yusuf Seydou a hell of a round in the boxing. Seconds out. Round four. Getting exciting, getting interesting with every round. Here we go into round four now. Referee Erasmus O paying close attention to the bout and to the two boxers as well. Isifu with the heavier of the punches, uh, so tries as much as possible to uh, land as many as he can. Good combination from uh, Seidu. Big one from Sule. And it's an immediate response once a boxer opens up. The response is uh, quite immediate from the opposite boxer. That's a big one now. Isifu moves on his feet quite well. Sule has got this long 
stride of uh, gaps, and that's a big one to the body of his, uh, Su uh, Sule Mohammed. I beg your pardon. And Sule recounts nicely. Oh, what a recovery from Sule! It's a give and take affair. That's explosive, NY. Anyway. That's explosive, Prince. You can see both fighters are going at each other. But I love the way Yusifu is really intelligent. When he senses danger, he goes for a clinching game. And that is what an intelligent boxer will always do. When he sees sense danger, he goes for the clinch game. For, for Sule, he knows that he needs to do something extraordinary so that he can get ahead of the scorecards. As it stands now, I see Yusifu winning all the three rounds. It's up to Sule to try as much as possible to go and do something extraordinary so he can see if he can get at least one round into this round. Because as it stands now, Yusif is winning. Carefully controlled fight here from uh, Isifu. And that bit of an explosion really sure took both boxers uh, by surprise and the fans as well but also an opportunity to see whether they could, as it were, kill the game. Wow. Wow. I mean, this is a fantastic round. Everybody is happy with whatever they're witnessing here. I mean, these two boxes have given us something to cheer about. Irrespective of us watching, even four rounds or four fights that have actually just gone past. But you see they do. And also, Sule Mohammed are giving us something to cheer about, irrespective of whatever we are what we are witnessing. These are two boxers who are making their maiden edition at the Delosi Professional Boxing League. They are giving us all, all that they have. They are showcasing why they must be here to entertain the crowd. But you could see that Sule Mohammed is not giving up. But as Nanel said, it will take an extraordinary strength and activity and mindset from Sule Mohammed to win this particular bout against Isifu. Sebu. Because Isifu has done whatever Second a boxer out. should do Second in the game. Out. Round five. Into the fifth round of this bout scheduled for six. Super featherweight contest between Isifu Yusuf Sebu in white and uh, Sule Mohammed. So Erasmus O gets the two boxers to go into action. The Deluxe Professional Boxing League brought to you by IMAX Media Promotions. And of course supported by the likes of Max by TCL, IMAX Media, and of course Techno. Special thanks also goes to uh, Eddie's Pizza who are asking us to spice up our weekend by bringing the kids along so they can get something to eat for free now if you want to know where to go just locate eddie's pizza at achimota east lagon anc mall tema community 8 ashaiman wager Accra mall frafraha pabenya dansuman or if you want to go the new technology way by ordering you can do that isifu says I am now getting the heat on. And he opens up nicely. Sule would have to wear clinch. Oh, Sule is in trouble. And you look at the force with which Isifu comes forward. And uh, Sule tries to keep him at bay. Tries two big punches, he misses all. So well, quickly, as I was saying, if you want to go the new technology way, all you can do is to call Eddie Spies on 56 Of course, T's and C's apply. Eddie Spies can't beat that. So we are refreshed here by Eddie Spies. Many thanks. And those are some of the goodies you will not miss when you're here with us. 
So the round has seen another bit of explosion and there's a cut, I think, on the lower lip of uh, Sule Mohammed. Big one to the head. A recovery for Sule. They would have to take double and triple effects. A little bit of showboating there on the part of Isifu, but he walks straight into a big punch from Sule and another one. Now the opposite is true. Isifu goes in for the clinch. Isifu works on the body, works on the face, and then uh, comes forward threateningly. But that bit of action would end the fifth round and what a round it has been i mean prince it's always it's always i'm always so so happy whenever they go to the end of every bout because look they're giving us something that will spice us all about look the way you see stands when you get to the i mean gymnasium they have a technique in which you use only one hand in doing your routine of boxing so whenever he moves into that upward stand he goes to the very hard left front that is a stand whenever they are doing their normal training in every gymnasium. So I see that Yusufu is bringing the gymnasium and sex into the ring. Sule Muhammad is no mere pushover. Although he has come under barrage of punches, he has given his all. He has not gone down. He's got a solid chin. And that is what every good boxer needs. If you don't have a good chin, forget it. You will always need the canvas. And that is what Felix Tito Trinidad will tell you, always protect your chin. Because if you know, you don't have to stand it. Second out. Six and the final round. So it's the sixth and the final round. This bout has been quite explosive without a doubt. So let's see how the last three minutes will fare for both boxers. Gradually, it is becoming quite obvious that Isufu would want to walk through this, knowing that he has a comfortable lead. Sule might spring up a surprise. One thing, though, I like about uh, Isifu, he's got the predator instinct, so he, 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 he runs after the kill, as it were. But then he also likes to work on the body. He's got some very hefty punches. We saw that from uh, round one. Wants to work on the body of Sule, uh, Mohammed, really wear him down and then try and finish up with the, the fight. But like Cecil rightly said, Sule, obviously, is not going to be a mere pushover. Spot on, Prince, from what you said. You can see that for Yusifu, he knows when to go downstairs with a body shot and knows when to go upstairs with that left hook of his. When it connects, it's going to do damage to you. And that's what you yeah. see right there. Right. That left hook, he right. always throws it. He knows when he go for the predator kill, as you said earlier on. But for Sule Mohammed, what he's doing now is just trying as much as possible to stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with Yusifu. Because if, if he doesn't take care any slight movement or any slight defensive error we could see him hitting the canvas because we could see that a lot of damage has gone on his side yeah i won't be too surprised though if they open up once again uh to go into the in-house fighting probably right to the end of the uh, round quick reflexes from isifu is now asking Sule to come forward. You know, Prince, uh, Sule, uh, sorry, you see if he's trying to bait Sule. He wants him to come inside the inside game and yeah. he knows Sule cannot stand toe to toe with him. So he's just trying and dragging him to come into the inside game. And when he comes, you see what he's doing. He's unleashing yeah. and his defense is also good. This is a give and take affair. In getting into the last 20 seconds of the round and it's now Sule's turn to unleash 
crowd is moved by what they've seen so far in this bout. Gets a couple of punches to the face, Sule, that is. And now tries to work on the body of Isifu into the last 10 seconds. Will Isifu stand the test of time? Well, all too soon, the bell will go for the end of the bounce, the end of the round. And these two boxers have really excited us. I mean, friends, I'm so, so much impressed with these two boxers. Irrespective of whoever wins the verdict, this has been excellent showboating of boxing. That is the act of pugilism. I mean, the whole night, this has been a perfect, perfect, perfect boxing match for um, the fans over here at the Boko Boxing Arena. Look, Isifu Yusuf Seibu has shown us why he is a boxer, he is a crack boxer, wherever he's coming from. And Sule Mohammed, he said, I will never go down without giving you a fight. He has actually done whatever Napoleon could not do. Because the bar should, should have been stopped like the round number three. But he gave us a very resounding act. That is the stamina rate Ladies of the boxer. Shall we put our hands together for the two boxers? Incredible! And this is what I call the battle of two Zongo boys, Isifu and Sule. And both of them have prophet's name, Prophet Joseph, and that is Yusuf, and Solomon, that is Sule. Let's put our hands together for them once again. An amazing fight, amazing fight. And we are waiting for the verdicts. Yao, Yao, are you with me? Yao, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Ah, uh, man. Before, before, be, before the verdict, give me your impression. My word, what a fight. <laughs> I mean, I'm speechless, you know. I know. Where did this guy come from? No, it, it's incredible. You know, oh, bo both of them celebrate Salah today. Wow. They are Muslims, they celebrated Salah today. Wow. And I wonder where they got the energy. And I, I know that our big man, even the president, has entered the ring to applaud the, them. The, the president is in the ring. Yep. And yep. let me also invite Mr. Isaac Tete, Titi Brothers. Let me invite the chairman of IMAX Media Group, Mr. Tete, please come over, come over. This the, is the, unbelievable. I mean, it's, it's the best fight that I have seen. No, here. no, no, no. Wow. It's a great fight. It's a great yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. Look at this guy. Mr. Isaac Tete. Also. Also, what a talent. What I mean, okay. I have Alhaji here with me. No, let me let me give you that that did before you talk to Alhaji. All right, go ahead. And the president is giving me something exclusive. All right. And uh, I have the verdicts. Now, now I have the verdicts. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's put the hands together for the boxer and the boxers for what they have done. Now we have the verdict. Judge one scored about 59 to 55. Judge two scored about 58 to 56. And judge three scored about 60 to 54. So by a unanimous point decision, the winner is the boxer. Let's welcome Isifu Seidu. Well, 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 well. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a great fight. Now, before I talk to him, the GBA president wants to make a brief comment about this young boxer. Mr. President, what is the message for this young man? Yes, uh, the young man is having his first fight and he's coming from the northern region. Uh, we know the facilities level there. Uh, the Ghana Boxing Authority, we have decided to take care of the young man. We are going to keep him in Accra. We will not allow him to go back and then we train him and get a champion out of him. Yeah. That's wonderful. So he's from the northern region. How are you? I am fine. Which part of the northern region are you coming from? Upper East region. Upper Bolga, Zanure. Namba, was Naba, Naba. No, so he's from Bogatanga. So those of you watching us from Bogatanga, those of you in Accra, you have a golden chop. 
and it's a potential to become a world champion. He lost the fight, but he's an amazing boxer. Now, talk to your people in Boga. You know, I, will, I, will, I, I want a real fight. I want the fight again because I'm the only boxer in Bulga. I don't get sparring partner. I, I train alone. I just do shadow and punch the bag. You know, if I get uh, like three or four boxers in Boga, then I always spar with them. I know I will keep fit. But now, now the GBA president, the GBA president said they are going to stay in Accra. You are not going back. You train here. So take note of that. And then now, Coach Latekwe Latte from the Fit Square says that he's going to train him. So this is amazing. So this is amazing. So, Coach, let me leave it there. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for him once again. Let's put our hands together for him again. Thank you. Now his coach says no. Coach, he's your boxer. It's my boxer. It's your boxer. Actually, it's my boxer. Okay, okay, so there's a battle here. Sule, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You see, congratulations. Thank you. Now, how do you feel winning the fight? I feel very good. My opponent is very good. Okay. And he has given me a good show and a good test to test myself okay. and see my fitness level. Okay. So I thank my opponent for coming to this fight and okay. give a good show. Okay. Thank you all. Congratulations. Uh, Mr. Isaac Tete. Okay, very well. Interesting. Hello? Hello? Hi, what's up? Now, there's a special package. Yo, now listen to me. There's a special package coming from the man who many knows him to be called TT Brothers. He has made a special promise, a package for this boxer, that for the next five months, now listen, for the next five months, is going to pay him thousand CDs every month. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Thousand CDs every month. Wow, wow. Yo, this is, this is, this wow. is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. It's good. And look at the boxer, yo. It's I whipping, mean, he's whipping, yo. It's unbelievable, yo. Yep, this is what it's about. Isaac Tete is, is a marvelous personality. And this is the only way that you can see the talent. The boxer right is here. crying. Now, yo, let, wow. let me talk to him before I come to you. Now, now, Sule, you are crying. Why are you crying? Because I have suffered in Accra. I came to Accra when I was 16 years. You know, I sell yogurt. After selling the yogurt, I will go to train. You know, small, small, but it wasn't easy for me. I need a ring, I, I need a room. You know, as a boxer, we can't even. I was sleeping outside at Katamatu. Because that, that, that's why I went back to Boga. So I'm now in Boga. So, 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 so you are happy now? I'm happy. Because you helped me to, to, to train. So I, I want you to speak in your language and tell your people that they should pray for you back in Boga. Okay. Mapu <laughs> So, members of parliament and his uh, constituency, this is their time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Coach, don't worry. His trainer says that he has a trainer. So, we'll talk about that. Thank you. Yo, over to you. Over to you. I mean, interesting. Alaji is right here. Okay. What a way to celebrate. Alaji Al is lost of words. I am just flabbergasted, amazed. Who says nothing comes good comes out from the north? And listen to the applause that is getting from the fans. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is awesome. And there's no way. Lamte, you know what? Lamte, you know what? I'm listening. I have some something special for that guy. Okay. All right. And I'm going to make it not public. Okay. Who says nothing good comes from the north? Wonderful. You know, as a policy, government should have this kind of facilities 
all around the regions. Okay. So that we can we can harness the potentials that are hidden. We have thousands of such people talk to you in the north. Talk to you Talk to you Yeah. He, he should talk to us. People I am are watching at I'm, home. I am talking to get all Ghanaians, including the government and GBA. The, 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 the chairman is here. I want us to know those who work, who pay, who pay money, should be able to support these guys. Can you hear the noise for the boys? Yes, to support these guys. I mean, I'm, I'm lost of words. He's just amazing. A potential. I mean, we can draw something good out of him. This is a guy we have to support. Northerners have to wake up and support this boy forever and ever. We want champion to come out of the north, okay. and he will be the one for us. Thank you, Alaji. Alaji, thank you so much. You're welcome, Happy Salah. Happy Salah, Happy Salah too. Awesome. Okay, now let's yeah. move to the next fight.